And here we go, classic, with this ridiculous, condescending music that Tomer Shalom comes to the ring with. Makes me sick. I don't understand how you cannot like this man. He is going to be a two-time champion tonight, Hot Generies. And here he comes. God, what's he wearing? He's wearing a gi. He's he's, he's, Jer he's making fun of Jeremy Elliott. <laughs> Not only did he beat him up, but he stole his luggage. Oh yes. yes, we saw footage earlier. He attacked Jeremy Elliott at the airport, Pearson Airport, earlier today. I don't know how he knew he was coming in or exactly when. Jeremy Elliott watching a family member fight at an MMA event in, in Montreal. Got off the plane and Tomer Shalom attacked him from behind in the, in the arrivals area. And we got the entire infamous five out here. United we stand. The brotherhood is strong. Here's our next champion, Tomer Shalom, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> our next champion. This is a glorious sight. Well, I would think that Tomer Shalom and Rage, they got the infamous five all on the same page earlier. And I would say Tomer Shalom's probably the leader. Oh man, here comes the rabbi. But are you the fifth member now? Or is it you, Classic? Which one of you morons is gonna take position number five without Cody Diener here? And here comes a man everybody can be proud of as Crossfire Champion, Jeremy Elliott. That's if he can even make it to the ring, Hutch. You saw that beating he took. Oh, please, man. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. And look, Jeremy Elliott means business today. Jeremy Elliott is not going, he's not leaving here tonight. And look at that amazing outfit that Champion's wearing. That samurai uh, kung fu panda on his tights or something. That's awesome. Yeah, kung fu panda, it's pretty apropos. Tomer Shalom was calling him a slug and a turtle before, calling him all kinds of names. Well, if this guy's a slug or a turtle, this is a ninja turtle here. This guy's dangerous. Pure lies, Hodge. This guy's not this is dangerous. The main event of the Jeremy Elliott just surrounded by the completely surrounded. The challenger. He's accompanied the ring by members of the Hypnotist Five and his spiritual advisor, the rabbi. The spirit, spiritual advisor. What a bunch of poppycock. That's what he's here for, Hutch. He's here to pull the tights, to pull the leg, to give him a foreign object. That's what he's here for. All lies, all lies. There we go. Here is the former Crossfire Heavyweight Champion. Soon to be new champion. The nice Jewish boy. So Oh, I gotta stand up for this. Oh, will you sit down, please? No, no I will not sit down. Tomer Shalom deserves the respect and admiration he deserves. Sending to my left, he hails from the Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. The clock is ticking, Elliot. Five feet ten feet tall, and weighing 197 pounds, here is the reigning, defending, go
And it looks like Eddington James is attempting to whittle down the numbers of the five here. This is not cool. What does old school think he's doing? What do you mean what he's thinking? He's trying to keep law and order. We've law already order. established this guy's got cataracts. Certainly doesn't have eyes in the back of his head. He probably is at least half aware of it. And he's trying to get rid of some of these members of the five around ringside. No, no, no. This guy. Oh, please. Get away from here. Old school has no honor. There's no way we can trust this guy to keep law and order around here. Please, you talking to me about somebody with honor. What a bunch of nonsense. Nonsense. I'm a great judge of character. And the fans heckling Toma Shalom as they should. No, they shouldn't. This is ridiculous. He's going to be your Come on, champion. Custom Ryan. There we go. Yeah, get it over with, guys. Fist bump, hip hip hooray, whatever. Get backstage. Yes. Bunch of nonsense. Showing the brotherhood. They're just wasting time. I still don't understand. This infamous fight should be allowed at ringside. They did nothing wrong. All right, I'll let you, I'll give you Rage, maybe. I'll give you Ryan, maybe, one guy, maybe. But he's already got the rabbi. Certainly doesn't need the entire five here. The rabbi doesn't count. He does, it doesn't matter. He's just a spiritual consultant. Please, Chris. Here we go. Tell us to change your hands tonight, Hodge. Wow, there we go. These guys feeling each other out here. This is not the first meeting between Jeremy Elliott and Tomer Shalom. Tomer is well aware how dangerous those legs and those feet can be. And Jeremy is certainly fired up, looking probably to end this thing as fast as possible. He looks mad and mad as heck. Well, Elliott got lucky last time. Tomer's wiser this time. He's ready. He's, he's more determined. He's going to take that title back. More determined. Please, they probably have less focus. He spent all day trying to wrangle the five, keeping them from stopping and being at each other's throats all day. Tomer's had this game plan for months. He's been ready for this match. Nonsense. Ever since he lost that belt, that's all he wanted was to get it back. Let me tell you, if Tomer Shalom had any kind of game plan or any kind of common sense, he wouldn't have guys like the rabbi here at ringside. And Rage in the ring, what's going on here? Come on, old school. This should be a disqualification right here. He's got his What's hands on in the opponent. Oh, oh look no. at Rage tapping what? out. <laughs> no, no, no. He did not tap out. What's Elliot doing right now? This is not smart. I don't see Elliot up here. Oh, often. wow! There oh. we go! Jeremy Elliot right down off the top rope onto both men. Let's take another look at that here. And Rage completed about his arm and wham! That champ right down on top of both men. And now, here we go. Back to live action. That champ in the ring. And he's probably going to deal with the rabbi too if we're lucky. The rabbi's on the apron. Yeah, oh. give him a shot! And what's he doing? The rabbi has, did not lay a hand on Elliot. There's no reason he should have just Big kicked him Big super there. kick to the rabbi! No reason he should have did that. Oh, wow! Baseball slide from the champ. And there we go, Shalom right there. Yes. Taking advantage, dragging the arm into the steel. There we go, Tomer. There we go, way to take advantage. Elliot was not paying attention. He was focusing too much on Rob Ray. He was focusing too much on the rabbi. Well, Shalom already tried to take him out at Pearson Airport this morning, surrounded by concrete. And it looks like concrete and steel is going to be the game plan here at the actual event, too. Oh, oh man. Hard. That was hard, Hutch. That shoulder's not good for Jeremy Elliott. Well, I couldn't see it from my vantage point, but we could hear the thud of Jeremy Elliott hitting, hitting the metal. And there's Rage taking some cheap shots. As he should, the ref's not looking. And you admit they're cheap shots. It's not a crime if you don't get caught. Oh That's please, you, I heard enough of that last time I worked with you, Chris. Why don't you change the record, brother? Oh. 
If you didn't see the hand of the cookie jar, it was never there. There we go. I'll, ex I'll accept your reasoning as long as you come up with new euphemisms and metaphors, I'll be happy. Well, you know, some of our crossfire fans aren't too intelligent, so I have to use the same words over and over just yeah. because they're not too intelligent. Yes, That's your people, I'm sure. My people are brilliant. Come on, Eddington, he's in the corner. The rabbi looking a little worse for wear after taking a super kick from the champ. He never should have took the kick. Now Rob Rage, watch it! Come on! Behind the back again! That's what you do. The well, rest back's not true. kicked out of here last time. Hopefully we can have him kicked out again. Oh! Yeah. After choking out the champ, a big right hand. And look how red Jeremy Elliott's face is. Ah, he's been laid out. That's not sunburned kids, that's the blood rushing to his head from being strangled on the ropes. It's Homer just taking it to the champ, or should I say soon to be former champ. Now this isn't smart, Hutch. Right now, Tomer's taking too much time getting involved with the crowd. Jeremy Elliott slowly to his feet here. Oh, right to the back. The former Crossfire Heavyweight Champion taking it to the current champ. Oh, a classic. Tomer Shalom with the snapmare and the kick. Oh, please, go away. The rabbi is right, soon to be two-time champion. The title's coming on. And Shalom, I don't know if we can hear it. I don't know if you people at home can hear this, but Shalom is talking a lot of trash, calling him Homer Simpson, called him a turtle again there, I heard. He's calling him all kinds of names. He calls it like he sees it. Probably a little slow there. That's a little Homer Simpson-esque. As yes, well. Tomer Shalom showing us his speed, showing us why he is the former Crossfire Heavyweight Champion. I'm not saying he's not a skilled fighter. He is strong, he is fast, and again, here we go, raging behind the ref's back. That's what you do. There we go, old school. Oh, he didn't do nothing, poppycock. Oh, wham, into the corner. And slowly and methodically working away on the Crossfire Heavyweight Champion. You should be ashamed of yourself, Rage. Ashamed for what? Rob Rage is the man. This is how a champion has Exactly. Oh, wham, I don't know if we noticed that at time. Walking right into a big boot there. Oh. Oh, yeah, mounting some sort of a comeback here. And only a two yes. count there from Jeremy Elliott. Way to go, Tomer. Jeremy setting him up here, perhaps, for the running kick. No, oh, missing the boot. Yes. Tomer with a boot of his own right to the gut. And a nice snapping DDT, wow. Great combo by Tomer Shalom. Let's see if we can get a quick replay on that here. Tomer kick to the gut and wham down hard on the current crossfire champ. And that could be changing right here, right now. Come on, Tomer. One, two, oh. No, just barely out. Could Elliot, I mean, could old school count any slower? I'm it's sure he probably ridiculous. could. Wow, I'm down to the canvas again. Grab it if you have to. Okay, Shalom just taking it to the champ right now. Hard shoulders in the corner. This is how you want to pedal back, Hutch. This is how you do it. Reversal from the champ. A big oh. splash from Jeremy Elliott in the corner. Come on, Shalom. Come on, Tomer. You got him. Oh. This is not looking good. Come on, Jeremy. Take it to him in the corner. Oh, no. Yes, yes. Shalom turning him around. 
There we go. There we go. Momentum's coming back. Oh. Right into a boot. Jeremy Elliott knows what he's doing here. Oh boy! Hey, what's this? Oh, whoa! Oh, cross no. our breaker on the oh, road! No, this is not good. Absolutely Star brilliant Kevin. here from Star the Kevin Crossbar Rex. Heavyweight Champion! That was absolutely oh. vicious. Let's see if we get oh, another shot good. of that. Look at this. I don't think Shalom was expecting that, and he just dropped backwards. I was not expecting that. Right, here we go huh? back to live action, and Rage is involved hold again. Him. Hold him, Rage. Hold Come him. on, Eddington. Get him out of here. Kick him out from ringside. He shouldn't be here. This is too much. Get him. Yes, look at that smoke. He's setting him up. Oh! There we go. Oh. And Rage takes that boot right to the right to the chest. Oh no. Jeremy Elliott taking his time, picking up Thomas Shalom. Finally gotten Rage taken care of. Wham, right into the steel. This is not looking good for our former champion right now. Well, I'll tell you right now, this match is far more vicious than their last encounter. I mean, they've spent half the time out on the floor here, and neither of these guys are looking for, uh, uh, when I say clean, what I mean is a smooth victory. They're looking to brawl here. They're looking to take it to the other man and teach him a lesson. Well, both men knew that they were coming into this and they're going into get into a fight. Well, Jeremy Elliott very uncharacteristically using steel, scratching the back, slapping the back, and where are they going now? What are you talking about? Jeremy Elliott will do whatever he takes to get a victory. This guy's the cheapest guy I've ever seen wrestle. They're up on the stage now. Come on, Tober. Power bomb him off of it. Oh man, Jeremy Elliott could oh, no. be in serious trouble here. This What's gonna happen here? Is he gonna suplex him down the stairs? This is gonna be it. Oh man. Oh wow, a big knee to the head. And toe! Oh, hard! Wow, a snap suplex! That's hard on the stage. And Thomas Shalom arriving in pain. Let's see if we can get another shot of that. Oh, wow, a knee to the head. And snap in the suplex! Jeremy Elliott should be And here comes Rage. What was that? It's What's a double this? count out. What's this? We're back to live action here, but there's no action to show no. you, folks. Eddington James has called for a double count out here. Oh, we can't have this. This is not how you end a world title match. I agree, Chris. This would be a shabby ending to what has so far been a shabby display of rule breaking. But Jeremy Elliott, that coward. That coward. This is ridiculous. No, no, no. There it is, the official word. No contest, double count out. This is ridiculous. Jeremy Elliott running away with his belt. What a coward. He's a coward, Rage. You tell him. Everybody here at St. Catherine Street did not come to see this end like this. We are going to continue this match. Right now. There we go. That's a champion. That's a real champion for you. It's about time this guy said something smart. So right now, no count outs, no DQs. We finish this now. Oh, wow. We basically got a street fight here at St. Catherine yes. at the American Community Center. And there's the champ pulling out a chair. Like That's I what said, I'm talking about. the cheapest man in wrestling. Oh, man. Here we go. Jeremy Elliott might have just made the biggest mistake of his life. He sure did, Hunt. There's no disqualification. That means the infamous five can come out and yes. help him out. Help out Thomas Shalom. Yes. That was a bad move, I think. They might have been goading him into this. Look at Rage. He looks pretty pleased. Well, Hutch, no one ever said Homer Simpson was the smartest man in the world. Well, this might have been the plan from the infamous five all along. Here we go. If Jeremy Chris Elliott is gonna, take you gonna down. have to use that chair to defend himself against all the members of the Infamous Five now that this is a no disqualification match. Let's go, Infamous Five Styles, take him down. Well, I oh. know Mark Haas said he was house Mark House said he was here to help the champ, but he's Mark got an House. injured leg. His ACL's been torn, he's not gonna be getting in the ring. Mark House is trash, he ain't helping anybody. But not, Elliot doesn't need all but seats. He's got this chair. There, there we go, go. Tomer. Yes. That timing to throw down that chair, champ. Tomer, he turned around. Yes, and pick got it waffled up. Waffled by Tomer Shalom. Pick him up and knock his head off. Take him down, Tomer. Oh no, he's setting up in the corner. Oh, wow. 
Yes, if I know what's coming here, this is Tom not going to be a devious, manipulative man, and comes up with sadistic ways to hurt his opponents just like this. You mean a brilliant man. Oh. Oh, man. Uh oh. Here comes the Jewish jabroni, uh -oh. the Israeli idiot, what? Rabbi Ronnie here about? to help out the champ. Oh, is, is Thomas Sloan bringing in garbage? A, what's is that in a that bag? bag? Of, I think it could be a bag of garbage just to show you what he thinks oh, of Jeremy bag Elliott. Of garbage. There's already a bag of garbage in the ring. Take yeah, it on Jeremy the Elliott. Oh, it's trash. Dump it on him. Oh, please. If that's actual trash, he's going to dump on the champ. Talk about disrespect. What? Coat hangers. Hangers? Those are plastic. What? Are, what are, those, that's supposed to be thumbtacks. What's he supposed to do with coat hangers? It's supposed to be uh, thumbtacks, and the rabbi, the rabbi brought coat hangers instead? This is not smart. That's, that's ridiculous. That's why he's a spiritual advisor. He's well, not a weapons consultant. He's still going to give the steamroller onto these hangers, I guess. Oh, wow. This is ridiculous. Oh! And the rabbi can't believe the mistake he made. Toad hangers all over the place. This is ridiculous. You took the words right out of my mouth, Hutch. This is ridiculous. Come on. Yes. Well, thank God oh. these coat hangers are here, because I tell you, when this thing's over, Thomas Shalom's going to be hung out to dry. Jeremy Elliott's going to be the Crossfire Champion, and he's setting him up right now for the big boot. Where do you come up with this stuff? Jeremy Elliott is not going to be walking away champion. Come on, Tomer. Whoa! Into the gut. Wow, right to the side. He's attacking that arm pretty mercilessly. Both arms back and forth. The arms have definitely been the focus of Tomer Shalom. I assume he assumes that if your arms are weakened, you can appropriately apply pressure for the cross arm breaker. Exactly. Trying to take away the best weapon that the champ has. That's his only weapon. Come on, Marcus Ryan in the ring. He shouldn't be. And again, what? heading to James and Custom Ryan. Guy? These guys are going to have a match soon. These two guys are really starting a feud. This referee is ridiculous. He's oh, not please, You're ridiculous. I'm not ridiculous. I'm intelligent. There's no way that this oh, guy could be unbiased. There. Jackson Jarvis tripping the referee. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a no disqualification match. There's not much he can do about it right now. But I wouldn't want to get in the face of Rob Rage. This guy doesn't nice. exactly show restraint on a regular basis. Man, Jeremy you can't be banned. It's no disqualification. Can't finally doing it. You can't. There's no disqualification. You can't be doing this. No disqualification. Well, from behind. A oh, schoolboy roll up now. Oh, yes. Thank you, champ. Oh, that big reverse elbow out. there from Tomer Shalom. This is ridiculous. Old school trips, and he kicks the infamous five out of the, out of the, out of the ringside area. This is... This is uncalled for. Old school is the worst Ryan, Tom ever. He's got this. Please, acting like it's their idea to get out of here. Old school Eddie then James using what little power he has in this no TQ match to get the infamous five out of here. Whoa! Oh. That was not the smoothest German suplex I've ever seen, but Tomer Shalom certainly is feeling it. Good kick out. Way to go, Tomer. Wow, Jeremy Elliott showing showing that weakness in his arms after Shalom's been working the arms the whole match. Rage been working on him. This poor guy, I'd be surprised if he can get to his feet. The Israeli assassin was all over that shoulder. The Israeli assassin. That's right. I'm the man, you shut up. There You're we go. garbage. Fan you members. are garbage. Berating classic Chris here. From Fort Erie, one of the greatest towns on the face of the earth. Oh boy, and in the ring. Oh, both garbage. men. A meeting of the I'm minds through forearms here in the ring. Both men down. Tomer Shalom, lucky those buddy. ropes are there. Oh, stop jibber jabbering with the fans, Chris, and do this your job. This garbage. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. Oh, least, you're least garbage. Do, at least do your research. If you're well, how about I turn something. off your match and you can go have a debate with that fan? I'll sit here and do my job. 
I can do your job way better, Hodge. Well, why don't you prove it? Here we go. Well, oh, hard elbow by Tolbert Shalom. There. And catching the champ. And now both men filling each other. Both men giving it all they got. We saw this last time that these two men went head to head. They gave it all they had. And Shalom ducking out of the way of the big boot for a second time. Now this is a fight, Hutch. Oh no, cross no, breaker here, no. Jeremy Elliott. There's no way, his shoulder's not strong enough. Come on, Tomer. Ah, uh, Shalom blocking it, he's got his, he's got both of those hands gripped together. Come on, Tomer. Jeremy Elliott Come using on, what Tomer. little strength he has left in his arms to wrench back and try and apply the cross arm breaker fully. There we go. This was the, yes. this was the move that got him the title. Oh no, what happened, I can't see here. Our photographer Tomer Robert Deke fought, is in my way, I can't see anything. Tomer Shalom fought his way out of that one. There we go, come on, Tomer. Well, I tell you, I'm not too impressed there. Oh, oh, no. oh Shalom, no. right into his no, own chair. Like, oh, no, big boot. And it could be over here from Tomer Shalom. Oh, kick out, kick out, kick out, no. Ah, it's oh. over, it's over. This is ridiculous, Hutch. That was it. called karma, Chris. That's what that's called, karma. that's called karma. I call this highway robbery. The very chair that he had set up to use against the champ came back to haunt him, and Tomer Shalom face first into a chair. Let's get a look at that right here. Well, let's not. There we go, here's a shot of him setting up the chair earlier. And here we go, Jeremy Elliott out of the way. <laughs> Tomer Shalom, not completely head over heels. He doesn't know where he's at. And Jeremy Elliott takes advantage here for the one, the two, and the three. Oh, oh what just happened there? What, Jeremy Elliott just got attacked. Jeremy Elliott just got attacked by a fan. Get him, get him, yes. unbelievable. Yes. What is get going him. on here? Get him, yes. These guys, Jeremy Elliott just got Look attacked Look at the violence of this fan. He just got attacked by a fan and Kendall Stick shot right to the head. This is amazing, guys. And here comes the infamous five. Yes, yes. Oh no, yes. oh no! Yes! Oh, oh no. another shot! Oh, look at the pieces right. of the Kendo stick go flying! Oh. Jeremy Elliott just what are the Infamous beaten. Five doing out here? This is close! Oh no! Don't tell me this is who oh. I think it is! Who is it, Hutch? Oh come on, come don't on. pretend you don't know who it is! <laughs> You're on. in on this! Get him up! Yes! This is glorious! Yes! You know exactly what's up. going on here! Yeah, that's right, ring the bells if that ever stopped anyone! Get the profession out here, this is glorious. That kettle stick is broken. Here's your champion. Well, I think it's fairly obvious who the ringleader here is. Woo! Look at those skinny arms. Yes! That's yes! Shane Moore. Yes! Woo! The Infamous Five leader has returned, baby. He hit amongst the fans the entire night. Oh, this please. Glorious. Fans are oh, come on. Come care. on. Yes. He just had himself a no disqualification match. You've already oh, beat him three, four, five times. Oh, Give the guy a break. Oh, oh come on. Right up in. Yes. Oh, and look. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? What's this? Here comes the locker room. The crossfire locker room's out here. Come on! Take oh, wow! It it's Here a massive go. fight! Here we Here go! Here Mark Haas, even! Everybody's in the ring! Oh, what the? This is ridiculous! What's these clowns doing out here? Chris Laporte, oh, man, they just took out Mark Get Haas! Him, Jay. Get him! Get they him. just took out the champ, Get too! Him. Get him, Jay! And Shalom! Infamous five, This baby. is crazy! Mark Haas tending to the world heavyweight champion who's been totally taken out in a cheap manner. This is pathetic. Jeremy Elliott is bleeding. 
Look at that. For that last kendo shot, Jeremy Elliott is bleeding. And look at Jay that. Moore is the man. Look at the intensity yes. of the face of Jay Welcome Moore. Welcome back, brother. Oh, of course. Yes. This makes me sick. This makes me sick. These guys should be ashamed of themselves. And Jay Moore, the entire time, you spent the whole show in the crowd. Finally. Go Finally. There. Jay Moore's asking for a mic. Here we go. Yes. This is the worst goddamn wrestling show I've ever seen because there ain't no Jay Moore here and there ain't no Infamous Five. Hey. Look at me. CK Saxon, that's exactly what I had to call you. All you were ever were was a piece of crap from Thor's wrestling school. You're a loser from Square Circle. Yes, tell him, Jay. You're a loser from Thor's wrestling garbage. Yes. Oh, please. And you, Chris Applied. <laughs> it's been a 10 year long ride. And let me tell you something. You can never get the job done yes. with your crap promotion without me. You know why? Because I have five yes. of the very best wrestlers in the world. And you're so jealous. You're such a loser. This is pathetic. This is brilliant. Look at you know what's pathetic? Jay, Jay Moore, Our champion right there being oh, held up. Calling out everybody's schools where they trained out. Calling all their trainers pathetic. Calling Chris LaPlante pathetic. Calling Crossfire pathetic. He's pathetic. This is pathetic. Baby, this is pathetic. This so is Jay beautiful. Moore is running his own show next month. Damn with right, Jay Moore are. Wrestling Federation. What a bunch of nonsense! This is going to be glorious. You be there May 31st. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll Center. tell you what. I will be there if it's going to be Crossfire against all five members of the Infamous we'll Five. You, you can count me in. I'll be there to count the one, two, three, and we can get rid of these guys forever. They'll never get rid of us. Oh, we'll please. take you on and put you down. Thomas Shalom and the Rabbi, they're out of here. And you know what? I think I'm out of here too. This is pathetic. Jay Moore, what a bunch of nonsense. Nonsense, please. I think not. That was glorious. All right, well. We'll be back next time on Crossfire Wrestling. I guess next time we'll be coming to you from Fort Erie with Jay Moore's Wrestling Promotion. What a bunch of nonsense. And we're going to see Crossfire Wrestling kick the crap out of the infamous five. Never.